Hi and welcome to a new Baramundi on Air video. My name is Nick and today we want to show you how you can set up the Baramundi gateway. So let's jump right in. In the BMC we navigate to the configuration mobile devices general. Here we navigate to the point gateway and select the gateway type Baramundi gateway. Now we need to fill the necessary information for the gateway enrollment. In the first step, we need to type in our gateway hostname. This is not the internal name of the gateway, it's the external public IP or DNS name over which the gateway is reachable from the internet in the future. In the next step, we need to set the gateway HTTPS port. In the standard, it's 4 for free, but you can set any port that you want. Also, we need to type in a gateway bbtdip URL. In our case, the gateway bbtdip is the bserver itself. In the next step, we need to set the domain over which the gateway can authenticate with the gateway bbtdip. Also, you can choose if you want to enroll mobile devices via the gateway in the future. At the point gateway SSL certificate, you have the opportunity to import our own SSL certificate or if you leave it empty, it will be automatically created an SSL certificate by the BMD certificate authority. If you want to configure your BMC for third party certificates, we link you on knowledge base article in the video description. In the next step, we need to check the checkbox gateway commissioning and we get a gateway enrollment token, which we can copy. So now we, d we have done the necessary configuration and can click on save. After that, we need to restart the Baramundi server. After the restart, we can already see in the configuration that the gateway enrollment state is waiting for enrollment. So now we can switch on the Windows server for the installation and enrollment from the B gateway. Our recommendation is to set up the Baramundi gateway on a server in the DMZ without a domain and only open the necessary ports between Baramundi server and Baramundi gateway. All ports you can find in our communication scheme, which we link you in the video description. On the gateway server, we now need to install the Baramundi gateway. You can find the setup in the ISO of your Baramundi version. So just open the ISO and navigate to Baramundi, the gateway and start the setup. You can easily install the Baramundi gateway in the standard configuration and after the successful installation, automatically the enrollment wizard starts. In the enrollment wizard, we can click on next and we need to type in our FQDN from the Baramundi server and the server HTTPS port. In the standard, it's for for free. Also, we need the enrollment token, which was created while we done the gateway configuration in the management center. And we can click on next. Now the gateway enrollment is successfully done and we can click on finish. After we successfully did the enrollment wizard, we need to restart the Baramundi server again. So we can switch back into the BMC. In the BMC, we can now make the restart. After the successful restart from the Baramundi server, we already can see that the gateway enrollment state is enrolled successfully. So now the gateway is listening on port 443. So now we successfully installed and enrolled the Baramundi gateway. Of course, you have to make sure that the traffic is successfully routed to the Baramundi gateway. We hope that we could help you with this and if you have any further questions, you can contact us in the support. Thank you for watching and see you next time.